So January 1st of 2016, um, I got in an accident where uh, I hit black ice and went into a tree and uh, Dr. Marquise responded with the MD1 um, to obviously help with my various injuries. I remember seeing the, the crash, it's one of those calls that you hate to hear on the radio but you train for to try to make a difference get there and you just have to kind of focus on the tasks and the patients and ignore the vehicle and all the loud noises and everything else going around. For me what stood out because you, you can't always see the broken bones and internal injuries but first got there there was a large piece of wood that had gone through the windshield and it had cut Austin's neck and um, you could tell it was pretty bad injury, it had some bleeding but I'm not sure which of your friends, one of them held yeah, pressure so, on the neck and that helped to reduce the bleeding. Wow. Which could have made all the difference. Yeah, that's Because it takes us a while to get there. It's always good to see people at like and mostly that they're doing well and you know, we don't usually get a chance to meet up with people or get a thank you or hearing things, so that part is cool, but it's kinda of awkward after that, so I think it was good timing that yeah. we didn't know it during the class because we were just two people that were trying to work together, you know, and didn't have any set up for awkward motions or roles. How often do you end up meeting people that you, you know, helped in whether it's an accident or other sort of emergency? It's pretty rare. I've probably reunited with maybe just a few people. And so do you to um, anticipate keeping in touch now that you know each other? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I hope to. Or to seeing you on the scene yeah. now, working together yeah. and helping other people. It's kind of a neat thing about it.